A welcome back, subjects of funk, to this uh, brand new Let's Funking Play, a Knights of Honor, one of my uh, favourite games of all time. I'm just in the process of finishing this uh, profile, which I've uh, called The King of Funk, with the title of King. And I have a snazzy display picture, don't you think? So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pick A Nation. Right, so. I'll explain how this works. You can pick a nation, any nation you want, from the early to the high to the late period. Isn't that fan dabby dozy? So we have um in the I like to pick the late medieval because there's more nations, which means there's more diversity, etc. And uh, I think we're gonna go for the Byzantine Empire. Um and try and reunify the original Roman Empire. But to make it more exciting, we might as well move it on up to the late period, where it really is a shriveled little uh, des destitute, tiny, small, minute country with only three provinces left. Um, so I'll go ahead and put it in hard, because I always play this in hard, because I'm so damn good in it. So we'll go ahead and uh, get balls deep in this. So then, the first thing I always do when I start this is... Um, toggle the minimap to uh, provinces and countries and whatnot. You can have it on this which shows you little towns and provinces and all that crap but it's better just to have it on the nations one and then you zoom in. You can zoom in further if you want but I think two is perfect for the size of our country and where we're positioned. So then uh, let's get on the political, political map. View. And the first thing you can do is, is uh, have a Uganda, a Syria at war, war with, and we're at war with Trezibond, and turn over. It's random every time you start a new game, so no game is the same. And, uh, yeah, one thing that we need to do is establish trade relations. Here's a tip, always offer the Papacy trade agreement, because they always accept it. So now we have Mold Moldavia, they have given us one as well. And we'll uh, we'll make the king into a trader because you can use your uh, royal family and um, your wisest of rulers. Let's have a look. And his king. We can pass the the crown on to either one of those princes. You pass it on to the best one, obviously. So that would be uh, Marcus. So as Marcus will be the king next, I'm going to make Prince Irene a merchant as well. I am at your disposal, my lord. We'll have him trade with the I Papacy and him trade with Moldavia. You got it's all about getting your money up like. We'll get this guy back, back in to there. the safety of our castle. Political view. So then. Looks like we're gonna have some trouble off uh oh no maybe not. That <laughs> at war with absolutely everyone, it would seem. I'll tell you what I will do though, as this, uh, this is uh, absolutely a brand new Let's Funking player, I will absolutely crack open a can of Guinness. Yes! Excellent. Always a good start, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can build. Ooh, Thrace is stacked. That's very lucky. That's a very lucky start. Usually, Political you view. start off with something like that. But I think because Thrace is a main trading power, if you increase your kingdom power, you have increased your kingdom power, which is always a good thing to do. Your thing goes up. Your amount of money. Because you've got more power over your subjects. I think subjects of funk. Political view. So let's have a look at Nisa. Not much. Not much at all. I think the best thing to build would be a... A fishmonger. Political view. Same goes here as well if I can afford one. Twofishmongers.com so, the intend, the intentions right now is to make Trezzy Bond my um, my vassal state, 
which isn't going to happen yet until we beat them in a few battles, but I just wanted to demonstrate that. And you can speed up the game by hitting the old uh, times 10 button. Oh, Guinness. That tastes really nice. So at the moment all goes an army of peasants. A new building has been built, sire. Good eat. Mullet. Kingdom power has increased. We'll keep Political. increasing that kind kingdom power. Oh, what the hell is going on? Political. Let's have a Uganda at this. So the Ottomans are uneasy with us. Venice, however, is calm. Ah, you Nazis! They don't want to trade with us. That's the way it goes. We'll make enemies and friends in this. Political. So we have the town watch house, which is a good house to have. Might even be a good idea to stick the old training grounds in here as well. Hit the Political. old times ten button. A Fletcher. There's a lot of uh, waiting about in this game. That's the way it goes. Sir. It's a fun game. A new construction has been finished, sire. Bloody hell, this spot's good at building stuff. Certain spots are better than others at building stuff. Once you get those docks upgraded, they give you absolutely loads of bonuses. Ooh. So, things are developing. Um, Venice is now a vassal of Austria. It must have lost the war with Austria. Did. Lost its main spot. And now it is... Well, it's Venice and... Uh, our adversaries have been defeated as well, which is fantastic news. England usually do crap all the time, but they got really good starting actually, really good amount of friends and stuff like that. Oh yes, <laughs> I've never seen England do this good in this game, they usually get absolutely wiped out, but there's still time for that I suppose. So we'll go ahead and keep increasing the kingdom power. Kingdom power. Pact of non-aggression by Moldavia. I'll accept that, pal. Ooh. So, we have two mercenary camps chilling. My and I think it I would obey. be an appropriate time to take absolute advantage of this. These units are cheap. So I'm going to get the cheap ones. They're not very good, though. They're really crap, Warm actually. Food at last. And then we'll move him As down to this one, which also has a couple of cheap units. And we'll get them as well. And then Warm we'll save up a bit more last. money until we can. And we'll get the rest all be professional units. I think's a good idea. A new building has been built, sire. That's good. Political view. This spot is absolutely stacked. Wonder if Trezzy Bond. Uh, Demand tribute, vassalage. Now we're going to have to um, start showing them who's boss in the war. The Pope has called for a crusade. Oh no. Where's he called for a crusade? The Mamelukes. Oh yeah, they're getting meaty as well. Oh. Got some really meaty nations about. So we at war with here. England are at war with no one. Ooh, nice one guys. That means Moldovia's trade has went up. The value of its trade because it's got a new province. That's how things work, you see. You wanna be uh you wanna be trading with the best. The biggest nations, but Political if that can't happen then you just make do with whatever you can kingdom get. Power Thank you increased. for that kingdom power. Also kingdom power puts up your uh, happiness rate. Construction has been finished, sire. Enemy troops have crossed our borders. Right, where's that at? Yes. If you right. insist. This is what's going to have to happen. We will get 
that because that's all we can afford. Um, and then we'll have to go and try and find political view. Yes, my lord. Let we'll us have land. to go and try and fight. Ooh, some of these will be quite cheap. No, expensive. Political view. And what we'll do is, oh, here we go. Back to the castle. Where's this man going? He's going to plunder and burn. Hmm. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I've got to get insist. those mercenaries. They'll be worth it in the long run. So we have to get. Ooh, only 400 for them. That's it. That's all we can afford. If you insist. It might be more than enough to kill this fella. We'll find out. Winning decisively. That's what I like to hear. Our armies have won yet another battle. For honor, attack. Right. Chase him down. And Political as we have defeated Trezibond in a major battle. Yep, they are now our vassals. See that? We defeated them in a major conflict and showed them who was boss. Fan Dabby Dozy. So you will notice that our up high income has went up significantly. Which means Kingdom power we can increase at 4,000, but uh, Trebizond now give us a portion of their earnings, which is what it's all about. You have increased your kingdom, and now we have kingdom power at the max. <sighs> have we got any friends? Venice. Uh, trade agreement offered by, yeah. Um. Offer a trade agreement. Yeah, we've got two more trade agreements, which means we can buy a merchant and a second merchant, which is I absolutely fantastic. Or, and now we can trade with Venice. Service, and do, and do Brutza, which is right there. So this is looking good. This is looking more than satisfactory. Where have Athens have conquered uh, Sicily? Good on them. So we're doing great right now. We'll have a look at some of the resources. Each town has a resource. Let's get ourselves two thousand gold. For a crusade. Each uh, spot uh, town has a resource uh, thing. We've only got fish in Political each one of those. Oh, in all of them, we've got absolutely useless Political resources. Blue. So. Who can we go to war with? You want to be looking at their relations with other nations, such as Athens. Or Athens are friendly with the Ottomans, who we hate, and oh, they're also friendly with Dobrutza, who we're trading with, which isn't good. But the Naples hate them, and Aragon hate them, and they don't like us very much. So you know what that means. Let's get ourselves a secondary army. In a Solon. Where's it at? My liege, back to the safety of Goody. our castle. And we'll start buying some units like there's no tomorrow. What is your command? If you insist. Fantastico. Um We'll get the crossbowmen. They were really expensive crossbowmen. In fact, this whole army is really expensive. Back yeah, to the safety really, of really our expensive. castle. I obey. Let's go and have a Uganda here. Back to the castle. Wealthiest ruler is Switzerland. Haha, <laughs> no surprise there. Eh? Political view. So we can check out, if I believe, at any time, the rankings. The kingdom rankings. Oh, we actually, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six most, oh, fourth most powerful as kingdom, sorry, now. Is that because England has lost the province? No, it hasn't. England are doing very good in this game. It's an absolute first. Every game I've ever played, they've been absolutely destroyed. 
and then we get a harbour. We're going to build this economy so stinking rich that we're going to rule this world. The Pope has called for a crusade. My liege, if you insist. Uh, we want the boyars. Back to the safety of our castle. And then we're going to need about two armies to take Athens. But Athens is ours. What is your wish? I obey. It's a former. Uh, it's a former Byzantine stronghold, in fact. So we have a right to it, and we're going to exercise that right. Warm food at last. I <laughs> saw so that's the propaganda that we are going to circulate yes. around the loyal subjects of the uh, King of Byzantia, the King of Funk. As you wish. We'll have that guy as well. Back to the safety of our castle. And then, a new troops come here. Has been finished, sire. We shall have ourselves some a military productions, a spear maker. <coughs> Very well defended. Needs a garrison now. We'll give it uh, three archers. For a now. new building has been built, sire. Of course, it has. Political view. And we'll keep just pumping uh, military. Oh, Venice have declared uh, independence from Austria. Nope. That's one thing. Never marry into someone else's family. May the good, the day be good. Uh, trade proposal with uh, Byzantia. Okay, Badin. That's Badin there. They're quite meaty. Uh, and what we'll do is we will um, My name is worth many bags of gold. Trade with Badin. And we'll stop trading with Dobrotsa. My name is worth many bags of gold. Because we're going to have to find a new trade partner. Oh, that's a mm, that's quite a rare occurrence. That the Papacy have been utterly vanquished, utterly destroyed. Um, agreed to marriage between princess and prince. No, never marry your people. Off they'll claim your. His Excellency, the they will King claim your land like a demon. Family. So we need, we need this to hurry up and be made. A new building has been built, sire. We'll have a Fletcher and one Spearman, or maybe two. Get two Spearman. And then we'll get ourselves a another marshal in Solemn. And he will Warm food at last. Get as many spearmen as he can. Back to the safety of our castle. This is just how it's done, you see. But you gotta have enough food in the province to be able to buy the unit. So the best thing that can be done is Back to the safety of our castle. So that my setup on this is because you can only have nine, uh, nine characters, should we say? I get four generals, four merchants, and one cleric who will do religious conversions for me. Yes. Move, move back to the Everybody safety out. of our castle. And what we need now is three archers. And then we're ready for campaign. Campaign season. A new Back building to the safety of our castle. Sir. Of course it has. Naples, yes. At your service, sire. Well done, Naples. We're gonna build relations with Naples for now until uh 
inevitably we'll have to conquer their land as well. How much more do we need? Back to the castle. Right, here we go. Raise sails. Let us restore Watch and it. rest. Let's see if we can uh ease another trick to exploit the game. Land here. What is your the command? shore is near. Because you might as well just wal waltz right up to their capital and then just take it like a demon. We'll produce some books as well. You can use books to um I am at your educate my lord. Uh, characters. I will go. Ah, good. Declare war. I've just declared war on. Uh, I will crush on these peasants. Peasants. These peasants. Absolutely, dootly. Now so I feel we took wiser. yet another enemy town. That's what it's all about, you see. Back to the castle. So there you go. Political view. That will have pissed off the Ottomans. And uh, it's a pity we couldn't get Sicily back because now Aragon owns it. But uh, relations didn't really change. The Golden Horde don't like us. We're doing alright though, aren't we? Doing more than satisfactory. So let's uh, go ahead and build something of value a harbour, perhaps. This is my favourite uh, game by Paradox, or Paradox have some involvement in it. I forgot what the uh, original... Ooh, Wales. Wealthy Wales. Ooh, England. Looks like they have to destroy France in the end. Now they have a southern uh, province in Ireland. I know that free army's going to Ireland. Town authorities have been taken over. Oh, yes. Takes time before you can use your, uh, what you may call them. You can give your uh, marshals various tr uh, tactical advance advantages. The uh, best one is uh, tactics, which can set up a. Uh, you will not regret this. Which can you can uh, fortify a camp, which is just stupidly overpowered on this game. Everyone who's yes, played it Lord. knows it so much. For the crown. Let's get ourselves some uh, Vikings. Back to the safety of our castle. Don't worry about it. Right then. Let's further this economy. Political view. We've got a really good economy. See how that changed so rapidly there. You get inflation. If you save up too much coinage, inflation starts taking a stranglehold. There we go, you see. We have uh, two different religions in that province. This is the religious overview. So the pink is the orthodoxy religion. Uh, brown is the standard Christianity. So pink is the Eastern Orthodox Christ Christianity. Um, and then Muslimo. And if it's got a uh, line through, that means it's a bit of both. Just like our uh, province here. So what you do then is, is you get yourself a cleric. I greet and you have him govern has been built, sire. Hellas. Good day, sire. And then you spend your money and religious thing here in trying to convert the province like that. And when Deliver. the timer gets to the end, we'll find out. That's the way it goes. It's the way it's gonna be. Oh, give me some moolah so we can buy some more. Things that are going to enrich our country. It's looking good. It's looking very good, in fact. Our cleric was successful and converted yes. the province. You can't argue with more than that. And that severely decreases the amount of uh, decreases the amount uh, the probability of uh, rebellion. It would you it would have a minus there uh, usually. I should have really shown that before. And um, oh, the Ottomans are getting meaty. They're going to be our next targets. The Ottoman Empire, in reality, actually, with a country that finished off Byzantia by taking Thrace in the end. 
but this is going to be a different uh, political view. This is going to be a completely different series of events. And let's see what the relations are like. Ooh. Ooh. I am at your let's break trade agreements you. and we will trade with the Golden Horde because we can get a damn sight more gold from them than Dobrutza, who are also friends with the Ottomans. But the Ottomans have. well, they have some friends. Benghazi? That's a, an independent state that's formed that happens occasionally if a, a rebel army manages to take control of the uh, the pr their province. They form their own army. I mean, their own um, state. So, I think we're going to uh, have a crack at the Ottomans who destroyed our vassal. I just totally forgot Trezibond were there and Ottomans have destroyed it. So, I think... Oh... You what we'll do is, is we shall political. call it a day and we'll pick this up next time when we launch our campaign against the Ottomans. Uh, thank you for watching. Subjects of Funk.